are live. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Pennies to Power. We show the true potential of the cardboard pennies we like to purchase. We got some pauper commander tonight. New guests, returning guests, the whole nine yards. So you know how it's going to be. We're going to go around the table itself. We're going to introduce ourselves, talk about whatever you fancy, more than welcome to do, or shout out whatever you want. Uh, state the commander that you are playing, why you like the commander, what about it, anything whatsoever. And then once we go on the table, we will randomize it four times. You will get the game going. So we're going to start with you, Obstinate, whenever you're ready. Yeah, hey, it's Obstinate Harrison. Uh, just, you know, brewing up popper commanders. Nothing new. Just playing some old favorites tonight. Yeah, hanging out. Good. Having a good new year so far. Hope you guys are too. That's all I got. Boom. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go next. Uh, what's up? I'm um, Hey, it's Jay. Uh, Yogmoth's Bargain Bin online, most places. Uh, I'm playing Luminaire Virtuoso, a little bit of Mono White Aggro Voltron. Um, I'm testing out this deck. I built it for someone else, and so we're just seeing how it works. Um, yeah, New Year, same me. How it is, yeah. <laughs> Over to you, Hip, what you got? I am Hip Stevie's Cat's Mouth of Hip Stevie's Cat's Mouth's Gaming Emporium fame, and I am here, uh, like, I don't know, every week, basically. Um, so you've probably seen me around playing some popper commander um i picked up a commander legends Baldur's gate box as a recent ish uh birthday christmas gift to myself and i pulled thrakis the butcher and i saw an opportunity to make a dragon deck in my maybe favorite format lately so uh i just had to do it but i'm very busy so it's less of a deck build and more of a pile that will eventually be refined I've wanted to build Thrakus right. for a while myself, but so I'm actually pretty excited to see this. I think it's probably going to be pretty medium, but hey, hopefully nothing we'll be wrong with surprised. mediums. <laughs> we love medium piles, bro. Yep, just enough. Well, we're here for the pile. Exactly. Uh, I am playing Viscopa Guild Mage. Uh, I just like see, trying to convert to life gain to life loss. Try to make the. I think we like wasted like more lately. The the life totals are draining a lot faster. Than more recently, so I, I feel like life gain is a lot better option, basically, to not die as quickly. So that's why I have the Scopa. I played this one from forever ago from Scarecrow from Paul from the community, and I use his as a baseline, and I've been playing with it since. Nice. All right, let's randomize it four times three and four. All right, that will be our order. I'm first. What? Yep, you were what did I do to deserve this? The first slot. Break that down. That you are player one. I'm golden. Whenever you are, you're more than welcome to go. Um, I'm keeping my hand. So here, let me. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure it out. I want to drop one card. I don't know. I guess we just leave it. Just take out a forest. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Dude, you I know? just slotted a card into Displaced Dinosaurs, and I could not figure out what to pull, and then I was like, Evolving Wild is gone. Yeah, I don't care. Right. I'm cutting it down <laughs> even one more land. Yeah, I, I, I mean, where did my card yeah. go? Weirdly I, decided enough, I, I decided Elk's good enough. Alright. There we go. Boom. I've always felt that way with, like, when you're trying to finalize a deck, like, oh crap, I need to drop one card, but I like all of these cards, what do I do? It just drops a land. Yep. <laughs> I do it every time, and every time I'm like, bro, you gotta stop. Yep. <laughs> How many lands you got? Four? That's enough. <laughs> Plenty of oh lands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've gone down so hardcore. I've been like, in regular commander, um, I usually average about 36. Mm -hmm. um, and since I started playing more popper EDH, my land count's been going out average to 33 a deck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 33 is yeah. not that terrible, but yeah. It, I mean, it, it really just... isn't. It really isn't. I've noticed because, like, I tend to have been building more lower to the ground decks, and it's like, if I have enough ramp and rocks, like, it's not that big of an ask. It's not really that greedy. Well, it's it's I, all I about how many lands do you want to get to at the top end. Because yeah. 33 lands is exactly one in three. So on, you know, if you're going to use opening hand seven, every turn after that's one card. You know, in turn five, you've touched 12 cards. You should, on average, most of your games, you'll have four lands by turn five. At least, yeah. yeah. But don't expect six or seven on turn <laughs> six, no. six or seven, you know? But, I mean, no. if you're good with four lands, like, that's good. I usually want to get to, like, five or six lands out on the board. I want five or six lands on turn six or seven. Yeah. I've won entire games of EDH with my now 
a dismembered Hinata Don Crown deck with only four lands on board until like the last two turns. Oh, it's absolutely doable. I won a game on yep. two lands once at the way of. Well, I played the third yeah. land, but I mean, like, I had the win in my hand, and it was like, I'm just going to play this to be safe. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's nice. All right. Uh, g gentlemen, are we all ready? Gucci. Yeah, I'm, re ready. Uh, I'm ready. All right. I'm going to draw for the turn. Well, Rayev costs right. two, and I just play equipments for one, auras and equipments for one, and yep. then protection yep. spells for one. Rayev is so Literally. low to the ground. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love decks like that so much this is not one of those decks yeah, actually i think chris was chris is in that game yeah i'm pretty sure oh, that's the one i'm thinking about too <laughs> yeah you were the only person to try to remove ray of <laughs> i know how good that thing you get <laughs> well uh, i mean you yeah it was, it was just a game yeah, where you were the only one with removal i'm gonna start us off with a tap drifting meadows and i'm saying go and drawing card for turn playing uh colony garden yep making a token that's my turn draw i'll do tap the clue step and i will pass as always we're assuming that all my basics are snow basics as i draw this card yeah. even though i'm pretty <laughs> sure it's not even relevant to this deck but i don't remember so i'm just putting it out there is a forest that's my turn step uh, I will play a Plains, and let's just do it. Let's just get my commander on the board. Drive Luminary it. Virtuoso. What we do? Yes. Turn two. Somebody edict him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. One black player on the table, so that's up to... That's going to be up Better to... play a swamp, gaming. Chris. It usually is up to me. <laughs> Playing so much mid-range, I've learned, like, basically just... Like, I built my Garna deck, I think, when I brought it to Philadelphia. I had, like, ten removal. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. All right, no I'm, turn two ramp for me, sadly. Uh, I couldn't find it on the second shuffle. I'm going to do a swamp, and I'm going to do a creeping bloodsucker. I have my upkeep. It deals one damage each opponent, and I gain life equal to the loss this way. I love that card. And I'll pass. This needs a reprint. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's like randomly like four or five bucks. Yep. My wow, well, really? it was only printed in one set, and, and it was that's an it. instant classic. It went, yeah, it went the way of, like, impact tremors, you know, like, definitely see that. it's just everybody needs a copy, and there, the copies were only in cons of Tarkir. That was in, like, a jumpstart, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's jumpstart. Yeah, that's why. It said that, like, forward. nobody really wanted to buy. <laughs> you have to buy a whole deck to get that card, basically, uh, right? Yeah, pretty much. You played a Forest of Passing? Yep. A flavor All text right. for us to boot from Commander Ooh, Legends Baldur's Gate. I love when people play mismatching, like, basics. Just like, Oh, you're evil. Basically, you're gonna love, you're gonna love me. Real. It drives me insane. Oh, I love it. I'm Chris, you should really see my perforo stick sometime. Uh, <laughs> I'm one of those people. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna tap for two. I'm gonna play Nimbus Wings on my Illuminator Virtual. So, so uh, it's an aura. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two, and has flying. So I'm going to connive. Yeah, I'm gonna discard a Mighty Leap. Um, I will then move to combat. Uh, I'm gonna swing out at... I'm gonna swing out at our lovely host, One More Gaming. Yep. I will take the three... Is it four now, right? It's gonna be a uh, six. Oh, because three doubles. Yep. Yeah, it's a plus three, plus three, and double strike, yeah. Three, four, five, six. Or it's a... Uh, um, one, one was three, one four. counter. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a three, four. No, it doesn't do you. Yeah, yeah, three, four, exactly. Uh, and then I'll pass turn. Nice. <clears throat> and things go so much more smooth. I've got like 12 of them in here. Got all the ones I can run. Turn two ramp, but we didn't find it. So I'm going to put the beanstalk on an adventure. And uh, the one rem remaining mana, I have no plays. So uh, that will be my turn. Tap, everyone will lose one. I will gain three. I'm going to do a swamp for turn. It's like, I want to, like, not die to the Illuminator. It's like, what do I do? Do I play things? Do I leave myself open? Potentially a hit of that. Uh, well, he's got flying now. That's the yeah. thing, yeah. That is spooky. All right, I'll just so it could be four power next turn. Yeah, so it's eight. Eight. conniving. It's at twelve. No. No, yeah, I guess he's got no. Jay's got to play something else to make it connive. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's definitely got. All right, I'm gonna siphon soul. Everyone take two, and I will gain six. And then I'm gonna poke Jay for one. All right. Um, I 
So it's three total. Takes you for the drain, and then one there, and I'm at 26. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I will untap and upkeep and draw. <sighs> Dang so it. I forgot about that card. Dude, I've been sleeping on that card, too. With three so minutes, that's a swing. swing. Yeah, no. Forest, I'll tap three, and I'll play a Jade Orb of Dragonkind, and then I'm going to pass my turn. Yeah, especially in Viscopa. Well, I mean, my favorite card is Blood Tithe, which is one more mana and one more damage. So it ends up being nine life gain. But yeah, I uh, also like Siphon Soul a lot. Oh yeah, Blood Tithe, yes. When you said that, I'm like, I know that card. Like the sorcery version of Gary. Yep. <laughs> All right, sorry, it's my turn. Very good. I'm busy looking at <clears throat> cards I don't remember. We're going to throw, what the hell, dude? All right, play out planes. Now, do I want to keep on smacking one more game or do I want to soften up the rest of the table? The giant doesn't have reach, huh? No, it Which is shocking at us. Yeah, I figured it's like it's like, green. Yeah, I figured you'd probably have reach, doesn't. But you can't give him flying. And and or, haste. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to move to combat. Um, I'm going to swing six over at obstinate. All right. Take a six. Um, then I will pass the turn. All right. Play a land for turn. Where do we go now? Ask Axel Rose. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is undo giant, search for basic land, click tap. Yeah, um, I think we're just gonna pass on that. Everyone will lose life. I will gain three, draw for turn. I will tap two and I will cast my command of Viscopa. Then after that, I will pass. I'm gonna untap. I kind of spaced that last thing you said, Chris. What was the last thing you did before you passed? I have no, I said I have no lands. Uh, I'm gonna play a broker's hideout and gain a life and i'll sacrifice itself and i'm gonna go get a forest and put it onto the battlefield tapped there's one and then i'm going to I'm gonna do something that i've literally never done in my entire life i'm gonna actually pay the mana to play land grant i know so it feels very weird and wrong but i'm gonna go get a forest card and put it into my hand and shuffle my library um um, are you hellbent? My hellbent? Yeah, oh, he would have revealed the hand. Yeah. Well, no, I'm paying the mana for it. Yeah, he's. I'm saying if you had no hand cards in hand, oh, you would have just revealed yeah. the hand. Oh, never mind, never mind, never yeah. mind, never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm just no saying people were revealing no their one... hand. Like you said, yeah. just, I've never seen people right. like, pay for it. So I've never paid the mana cost for it, but I'm in a situation where it makes sense to cast this. And yeah, I actually wish I hadn't played that other land, but oh well. Um, it was just force a habit. But yeah. that's going to be my turn, so I'm done. Uh, untap. Highland Forest, I think. Play a land. Uh, I'm going to start out tapping two. I'm going to play Call to Serve. Uh, it's an aura. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two, and has flying as an as in also an angel. That resolved. Well, the connive happens. Yes. Yeah. Start or the draw. Uh, I will discard a disenchant and put a counter here. So his power is now five? Yes, it is a 5-7. So, because both of the, the auras do the same thing, it's plus 1, plus 2 in flying. Uh, this one just also makes it an angel. Yep, so he's an power. angel human rogue. Uh -huh. um, I will then move to combat. Um, let's just move around the table. Uh, yep, I'm gonna swing at you for 10. Um, and that's my turn. Hey, turn five for five. Old bear. Old bear's great. Whip up Fleet Feather, Santa. Yep. <laughs> um, I'll put two damage on. Yes, Jay. I don't know if it really matters. Yeah, nobody's blocking. I, it doesn't look like anybody's really got a ground game anyway. So, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Uh, everyone will lose one. I gain three. Yeah, most of the stuff in this deck that's designed to pump up Virtuoso also gives it flying. That's how you really put the impact to it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to yeah. pass the turn after that. Still no land. Yeah, the only oh, bummer right now is I'm drawing nothing but lands. I'm going to play a Highland Forest tapped, and that is going to be my turn. Oh, I didn't lose a life on your turn. My bad. And I will untap. Chris, have you Draw. noticed how unique my land arts are? <laughs> <laughs> like they're trying to be the same, land. and they're not. <laughs> it, they look like they could be the same until you look a little closer. <laughs> like I'm building, I'm putting, like finalizing out Greta, and I'm making sure even those lands are specifically the Lord of the Rings lands. And <laughs> oh nice. no, dude, land tilt. Gotta get that land tilt. Mind no, games. Ugh, I, it, it lit so I built one deck the other day for my buddy. I built the uh, Gandalf the Gray, whatever, mm -hmm. and it, 
it, the lands are literally not a single one matches. And he pointed uh-huh. it out, and he's I'm like, I can't, it wasn't for me. It wasn't my deck. I don't care. It's yours. You do you. <laughs> that will not be me. <laughs> I'm like, he's like, what are you doing, Chris? I go, I don't know. It wasn't me. It's not my deck. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, I play the lands. Uh, all right. I got to swing at somebody. Um, could do that. Chris, I'm going to swing at you for uh, 10 in the air. All right, I'm going to do one and a white for a Dazzling Reflection. Gain life to the Ooh. power, and I prevent the damage. Ooh, okay. All right, Are so no damage, and you'll gain five. Because it's, uh, it's, yep. yeah. All right, that is definitely an answer. Wait, so does it, it hits him once? Oh, so I take at least five, yeah. So oh, yeah, you, so you, yeah. Okay. so you gain, because, yep. like, you gain the first strike, and then... Yeah, because that's what you're always strength. taking commander damage then. Yep, so I'm at 11 commander right now. I did not know this was a card. Oh, oh, was it called Dazzling or something? Dazzling, Dazzling Reflection. Reflection. Zendikar, bro. All right. There you go. Uh, I love the art. But I will be passing after that, though, for any other. I have no removal yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will. Also, pass priority. Yeah, I was going to do something else during combat. And I'm not going to do that now. Obviously, um, so post combat, turn uh, main phase two. I'm gonna play uh, Kithkin Armor. Um, a changed creature cannot be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Um, and I can sacrifice Kithkin Armor to prevent all damage uh, to the enchanted uh, card from one source, but it's specifically damage. Um, I'm going to connive. Um, I will discard a plane so I don't get a counter. And and with that, I will pass the turn. Wait, wait, it's a seven. What is the power now? Seven? It's the same. Um, oh, I didn't get a counter. Armor. It's just that the Kiskin armor. armor doesn't uh, uh, give it any buffs. Yeah, the Kanai was okay. planned. Yep, yep, yep. Just, I just couldn't remember what Kithkin armor did. Or like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, so it's... Uh, I, yeah, creatures with power three or greater can't block it, and I can sacrifice the aura to give um uh to prevent damage yep. uh from one source yep so five six still or uh no, five, five seven, seven. Five, seven yeah. yeah or wait no i'm up yeah you're up you're up <laughs> yep. okay that's it the reason i think is we got turn six miss our land drops so why don't we go ahead and play three visits i was hoping to use the dazzling reflection on the beanstalk giant when i have enough lands of escopa that would be pretty spicy Get real big. Like gain like nine. Grab the- <laughs> yeah. That goes onto the battlefield, so it comes untapped. Make a food corner. Uh guess we play the big boy out. Oh maybe not. Man, I mean how do we- Well you have flying, that's the biggest thing you have, which is you know. Yeah, to defend myself with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh all right. Tap out. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Duck is a nine. Nine. We'll move to combat. And I mean, Jay's the big scary one still, so I'm gonna send six at Jay. And that yeah, is 16. Alright, everyone will lose one. I gain three. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna just do this. I'll tap three, put a crib swap on the. the virtuoso. Ooh, that's exile. Yeah. Then you get a one one. Um, quite a good top deck if you didn't have that in your hand. Yeah, too. that's. What, I'm glad it, I wanted a land. Don't get me wrong, but I'm no, I mean, that, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I wish um, I could top deck a crib swap right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to tap for two. I'm going to flash out a benevolent blessing. Ah, uh, yeah. Pro white. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to name pro white. Um, and it doesn't affect uh, yeah. anything I have on here. So yeah, it's the right exact thing you needed. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've had that since my opening hand, so that's, like, the entire reason I kept this hand was because I had that. Yep. Uh, um, you get a knife trigger? Yes. Draw. Oops. And on YouTube, we got someone from Uruguay saying, hey. Hey. Oh, nice. Uruguay, how we doing? Um, I'm going to discard a seal of cleansing. Instagram. All the artifact enchantment removal out of here. Yeah, it does not seem useful right now. Well, nobody's trying to pacify your creature. Uh, yeah. Well, not yet. <laughs> oh no, there's no white. I'm I'm the only white. Oh no, no, actually no. Chris has got. Yeah, white I have white, but more so it's just so, gain a lot of life. There really isn't much like. Yeah, yeah. There's some removal, but it's oh. more so just gain a lot of life kind of thing. In the chat, right. but yeah, you're good to go. Yep. Right on. I'm gonna untap and upkeep and draw. All right. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four for a stirring bard, the dragon bard. 
He's playing a loot. Uh, he's a 0-4 defender, and when he ETBs, I take the initiative. He also has Mantle of Inspiration, tap, target creature gains menace and haste until end of turn. So I'm going to venture into the Undercity. I'm going to go get a basic land card out of my deck, reveal it, put it into my hand, and shuffle. And just for ease of viewing, I'll put it in the command zone on spell table. Initiative has entered the game. Uh, is that your turn after that? Like, do not go yet. <laughs> do not go. <laughs> um, tell me when to go. Not now. I'm getting this mountain, <laughs> and I'm going to play that mountain as my land for turn. Yeah, and Mateo, whatever you'd like, you're more than willing to send over to me or off. Tap this mountain, and I'll tap Jade Orb of Dragonkind. For a green, and I'll cast Dragon Hatchling, and it is a zero one one flyer with fire breathing. It's a dragon, and because I paid for it with Jade Orb of Dragonkind, it enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it, and it gains hexproof until my next. Proof oh, until your next turn. Then, like, I will pass like my turn. Like Throne of the Dithri. Yeah. Pretty good dragon and, synergy. Yeah, and it blocks real well. Yes. Um, flyers. We're getting we're getting the technology to fight back against the uh, Ultra <laughs> Menace. Have the technology. I was gonna play a flyer, but I'm like, I, I gotta press the removal to see what I got here. Yeah, no, I just like I said, I've been sandbagging that uh, that aura. Oh, for sure. When and with this deck, like when I was building it, I was like, I could tell right away. I'm like, you know what? This deck needs to prioritize like protection almost more than pump. Oh, 100%. Um, because it can get off the ground fast and make sure you're even more of a target. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? Um, Chris, how much, uh, uh, you have 11, all right, 11. Yeah, so literally one more hit on me, will. It's like, yeah, I could kill you right now. Yeah, you got it, you got it. I do. Yeah, well, I, like, also, I don't I'm mind like, taking... I am the right target, in a sense, when it comes to commander damage, because, like, I'm a life gain deck. Yeah, um... Yeah, well, the, th the thing is, though, like, you have, like, life gain's not gonna stop you from commander damage. Correct. Um, exactly. Uh, I'm actually going to... I'm actually gonna swing an obstinate. So it's oh, six... Uh, block with my token. Oh, it's flying. Yeah, it's token flies. Yep, yep. Your token Wait, flies? Yeah, the, the Oh, you put it on your plant token! <laughs> because... Because you played the Kithkin. <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, I forgot that you put the thing on your token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, exactly what I meant when I said we all got the technology now. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm going to move to second main. And I'm going to play a fairy godmother to block that big-ass giant you got over there. <laughs> Are we allowed to swear on this stream? Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Swear away. Don't be a all D, right. but swear away. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Just want to make sure that I wasn't oh. like, uh, yeah, all the post YouTube gonna... stuff, everything is 18 plus, so don't worry about any of it. All right, gotcha, gotcha. And then I'll pass the turn after that. All right, land for turn as we do. Well, uh, we're out of lands <laughs> now. I am, I may be thirsty for that initiative. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of juice myself that I've been holding on to. I didn't think we'd get to this point called Rancor. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, the juice is loose! <laughs> That's gotta go on the big boy. We'll send him up. I played a land for turn, so yeah, he went to 10, and from 10 to 12. And, uh, I mean... Oh, you could kill me right now. Chris, what kind of damage can you do on your turn? Well, almost kill me. At least one as of right now, potentially... Well, you could activate You could activate Viscopa if you needed to yeah, so in your upkeep. Total of six damage. One? Yeah. No, no, it would be... Three and three. It'd be one plus three, isn't it? Four? No, because it, it's a life lost, a life gained. So I'm gonna gain three life. So then it'll be another three off that. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, before yeah, total. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Basic man. All right, so <laughs> trick ourselves. That's all right. One, two, three, four. Let's tap that one. Uh, we're gonna play Druid of the em Emerald Grove. We're gonna put that to the sides. So this guy is like cultivate. Or I got a roll here. Roll in spell table. Go D twenty. Did I have so many of those in a, a box six. next to me right now? I have a ridiculous oh. amount of Druid of the Emerald Grove. One. So these both <laughs> are hand. No extra juice for the giant. But I mean, yeah, that was my one blocker. So I have the tricks. I don't know. I mean, well, okay. if you full swing at me, you'll put me at a one, and then Chris will kill me. But then, yeah, I mean, I guess I think that's where the way this has got to go. I mean, yeah, I, I want, I want the initiative though. I guess yeah. I don't need the, the 
forest yet, but we can bicker over the initiative a little bit. I think Maybe we not. need initiative because I need that one more land. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't mind letting you swing with the yeah. creeper. So I think what we're, we'll do here is we're going to equip these sandals. I mean, I don't... Yeah, you've got one You got one flying blocker there that... You have no red mana, Hip? A green blocker? Not at the green, moment. Yeah, I have a forest up. Yeah, well, so you can't buff you guys. So it's a one, two? Could yeah, buff I mean, I just... Things. I have cards in my hand. Yes. There's green cards that oh, buff oh, stuff. Let's not, let's not get too excited. I'm just going to send two damage your way. I think I will equip up the Druid of the Emerald Grove. I mean, I'm getting slapped around anyway. I guess, I mean, I think my biggest fear from you, Hip, is you're going to play something big and then give it haste, honestly. I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to be seeing, like, a potential win of this game in the distant horizon in this. Yeah, in the well, yeah but I don't, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. We will do the hard lifting of lowering everybody's health total. You just have to make a skeezy attempt on killing <laughs> your opponent at the end, right? That's what I can guarantee. So all you have I will, to do is I will be throw, a scumbag. Yep. Exactly. I will throw, I'll throw the fleet feather on. I don't know if I it was power anything. three or great, three or greater, yeah. Jay? Uh, yeah. So the giant could, uh, could block if he gave flying. I mean, yeah, I, if I, it's like, God, I just, I want to hold, I kind of want to hold up this druid just to make sure nothing happens. I don't get murdered. Flyer. Uh, but in order to send, you know what? I mean, yeah, okay, I'll send, I'll move to combat. Oh, man, so he's got, I mean, I'm, I'm getting fogged here, I think. Oh, so. the, uh, the owlbear also has trample, so if you just send your commander and owlbear at me, yes. I'm dead. Into the fog. Yes, yes. I mean, I think that's essentially what I'm going to do, but... Uh, Go on, Charm. I don't think I'll get... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that's about the best. I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to send these two at J, and we'll hold off on the initiative. Yes. Um. Yeah, I got to see if I can survive. I don't have an an a direct answer right now. So what Ooh. we're going to do is I'm going to play Lauren's Escape on a little bit of Virtuoso. Oh, I it's got pro white. Oh man. Um Rayo runs yeah. into this problem, this exact problem too. But yeah. Yeah, then I'm just I'm just dead if I block, so I'm yeah. just not gonna block. Taking down the beast. Uh, it's just two more. That is my turn. Have everyone lose one, I gain two. Uh, oh I'm I gotta land, I'm playing the game. Uh facing a ginormic kind of things over there. Okay. Um that gives just flying. Oh, and ha and hoste. It's, hip's got that juicy initiative for your land of course that's the thing it's like i would love to get that land on top of all this hip i'm gonna poke you for one is that okay it's fine all right poke you for one i'll, I'll, I'll get the you initiative. now have the initiative go get a land Jeez, i had like no lands going where the hell are they uh i'm gonna step away momentarily just yeah. to grab a little snack and uh, i'm down for as many more games as you guys want to play tonight yeah cool yeah we usually do it i'm happy to so. play an infinite amount of games infinite. i am i'm in <laughs> I'm into this. Uh oh, we lost you, Chris. Yeah, I don't know how. Reload, reload. Uh, get the planes put into hand, cause like even removal on the beanstalk, a little bit of a smack on the that. Um, that's not fair. Yeah, I'll do it. I will do four. I need like ramp. I'm gonna bake into a pie. Um, the beanstalk. Mm. All right, he's out of here. Um, and back then... to the command zone. Rancor goes back to hand. Then I'll pass the turn after that. If you got a much food less token for that? Oh, yeah. Dead sure. right now. Now that this game action has taken place. I'm going to... I don't have the initiative, so I will untap upkeep and draw without doing initiative stuff. Um, yeah. Forest. Tap a green... A red and a green. I'll play Goblin Anarchomancer. That each spell I cast that's red or green costs one less to cast. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna cast Thrakus the Butcher. Um, you all know Thrakus the Butcher. Uh, what up, Thrakus? Hey, obstinate. Yeah. Is that flying equipment on your druid right now? So what? He, he's just a flying hasty two-two. I am. I'm gonna tap. Stirring Bard to give target creature menace and haste until end of turn. We're getting Thrakus the Butcher. Yeah, response to that. We're going to prize fight. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, paid with Jade Orb of Dragonkind on Thrakus the Butcher, but I forgot to put a counter on him. But he does have Hexproof right now because of that. I see. I see. Okay. I forgot Go the for counter, it. though. All right. So menace, haste. Um, 
Dex proof. Also that, and he's got a plus one, plus one counter on him, and he has trample. So you got a four, four there too? Yep. Four, four, a two, four, and a two, two. And a fight spell. Uh, somehow I did not see Owlbear before. Although I know that you played it Wait, earlier. Wait, no, this guy, but... actually, sorry, this guy's tip. Oh, with a prize fight. Yeah, no. Owlbear's tip. Okay, sweet. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna send, yeah, I'm gonna send, uh, at Chris and Thrakus the Butcher at Obstinate. Um, and on the attack trigger, Thrakus the Butcher is gonna double the power of each dragon I control until end of turn. So Thrakus mm -hmm. is swinging as eight a, power. Uh, yeah, eight power, five toughness, sample menace, uh, East. And then Dragon Hatchling is in the air at you, Chris, swinging for a mighty two damage. Yeah, I'll double block. Um, So you'll take That's just two then. Right. And Thrakus will live. Because his toughness five? is five. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. yeah, plus one, plus one counter. And then I will get the initiative. The trigger right now if I just take it from you. Is that how that works? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, when you take the initiative and at the beginning of your upkeep. Okay, so I will go to the next room. So I already went to the first one. I'll go to Forge. So I'm going to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. And I'm going to target Thrakus. Um, and then I'm going to pass my turn. And a turn we're going to crack the food. You you hit me, uh, yeah, two Thrakus there. And I'm getting messy over here. Got my tissues and my Gundam. I don't really, like, know about Gundams and shit, but my friend... My friends and I were hanging out, and he was like, him and another one of my friends were stoked because they just like picked up these little Gundams. We just like sat around and painted them with these markers that are specially designed for it. They are and really honestly, it was ass. super fun. You don't this have to know like anything about Mario Gundams. Show. You know the giant robots kick ass. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, right. But he was so stoked about how I painted the shell because it looks like it's like from Mario Kart. It does, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what do they call that? A bracer or whatever. I just call it the shell. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Menace. Yeah, wonderful. I need to get like a snow blower because I actually have a multi unit and I kind of can't not shovel if there's snow. But it's like in New England, they can say there's snow and then there'll be no snow. So it's like we supposedly have a blizzard coming. So it's like I kind of need to buy something, but I just don't want to spend like five, six hundred dollars right now if nothing happens. It is there a blizzard coming? Supposedly it was supposed to get hit. It's it's more right. on near me than it is you. I think I'm supposed to get like ten inches supposedly in your area. It's supposed oh, to be getting yeah. around like eight, uh, six to eight. Oh my god! When's that supposed to happen? Because I need to fix up like the yeah. uh, undercarriage of my car. End of Friday. Before they start Saturday. throwing salt in. Okay, I got to call my mechanic tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I've been seeing a lot recently. Is the uh, end of Friday or at least I don't know. All right. I played Beanstalk Giant. I think I'm just gonna pass through combat. Anything else you want to do? Nope, that's it. Alright. You'll lose one and I gain two. Okay. Command tower. Back. Oh that hex proof dude. Thought I had all the answers. It's only for the one turn though. Yeah. But now now it's everybody right, knows yeah. what I've got. Yeah. Hey, what's up Eric? What's up Eric? I gotta do this now, try to get a little bit of wiggles. I'm gonna do a blood tithe, so each opponent loses three and I gain the life, so I'll get Oh, I think we were talking about that yeah. card earlier. That was, When you were talking about it, it was in my hand when you were talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that card does. <laughs> um, that guy's a slapper. Yeah, not wrong. Oh, wait, did you play it or did you reveal it? I played it. 100% play. Oh, I gotta click on it. Oh, I thought, you, for some reason, I, I thought I watched you put it on top of your library. No, so I put my graveyard's all it? behind uh, my thing. Yeah, I see. It's just like you reach past it. Yeah. Cool. Yep. I, I went, I was at 18, down to 15. All right. And then just so I can get, oh, here's a block. I will just pass it. Okay. To that. Um, I'm going to untap, and I believe this is the first deck I'm going to be playing more than once in a blue moon in a long time that actually is going to be using the initiative probably most games. I definitely have a handful of things in here that do initiative stuff. So yeah, my upkeep now. I'm going to venture into the Undercity. Um, so I'm going to move now from Forge to Arena, and I'm going to go target creature. I'm going to Goad Beanstalk Giant. All right. So before we get to your draw step, we're gonna play a certain card. Yeah. Same to uh, say, yeah. We're we're the same fights going down, but the big boys here. Uh, to your uh, Thacus. Thracus. Okay. Um, I am gonna respond to that by tapping this flavor text forest, which came from the same Commander Legends Baldur's Gate set booster box that Thracus the Butcher did, and I'm gonna cast this Magic the Gathering fifteen uh, Rangers 
Guile or whatever. I have to learn how to pronounce right. that. But it'll get plus one, plus one, and hexproof until end of turn. Also, this is just occurring to me now, but have I been overpaying for stuff? No, I don't think so. No. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So he has plus one, plus one hexproof until end of turn, which means he is not a uh, six, seven right now. He's a seven, eight. I'll tap Jade Orb of Dragonkind and a mountain and this forest and this other forest for total. I'm going to cast Tiamat's Fanatics, which is a haste myriad four, three dragon warrior. Um, and have up for blockers, Chris. I have Viscopa and the Creeping Blood. Viscopa and the Creeping Blood. You got one mana up? I do, but I do not fly, so... Oh, it's a food token. Now it's an orc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap Stirring Bard, and I'll give Haste and Menace to Tiamat's Fanatics. Um, it already has Haste. I don't think there's any reason for me to tap this. Okay. Uh, this is tricky. I, do you have any commander damage from Stock Train? Not no. anything. I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to swing Tiamat's Fanatics and Thrakus the Butcher uh, at you, Chris. Before we go to block, before we go to blocks, I'm going to tap this Highland Forest and I'm going to. Uh, Gonna bolt your commander. I will pay one, and I will, God's willing, it giving it pro red. Pro oh, red. And scry one. All right. Um, that will fail. Um, but I. So for my attack triggers, strike as the butcher is doubling the power of each dragon I control until end of turn, which means Tiamat's fanatics is swinging as a haste myriad eight three. Uh, so there's a eight, or well, the myriad token wouldn't have its power doubled, would it? Or would you it depend on the stack that it. I resolve? It? Okay, so I'd stack it so yeah, it would be it's the three. order. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so you'll have an eight three coming at you, Ab, and Chris, you've got uh, an eight three coming at you, and also Thrakus is a um, fourteen eight. Uh, I'll block the the, um, the top dragon dude, and I'll take fourteen. Probably the dumbest thing to do but well, i mean he's got trample so yeah there's no real difference yeah yeah i'll block my token um and this is probably at least a little dumb but i'm gonna tap this forest and i'm gonna cast sheltering word on thrakis who already has hex proof but <laughs> he has eight toughness right now and i could use some life so Oof. that's why i'm doing it um cool. and uh that is my very long turn concluded. Right. The study hall. This is goaded, Chris. Yeah, I know it is. Right. So you got you have an answer for this, or I am tapped down. So swing life away. Swing the night away. Um, what kind of damage can you put out next turn? I mean, um, off of my hand, literally just the one from this and two more from that, and it's then a shame. So, oh, God, this so it's one, two, three, four. So it's four. I could do six total to you guys. No, nah, no, four to, to y'all. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I will, I guess, equip up um, Owl Bear, and I will also uh, attach the Fleet Feather Sandals to it. I will move to combat, and I will send uh, Beanstalk at Chris. And I will yep. send Owl Bear. Right, so the Owl Bear is coming at me for six flying trample. Right? How many cards you got in hand up? Let's take the six. Right, yeah, that uh, will be. I think we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, y'all lose one, I gain two. I'm not gonna activate it. Hanging in there. Yeah, uh... Can't activate it twice. We only activate it once. Alright, uh, I will pay two to cast... Uh, Ghastly Gloom Tender. Uh, Gloom Hunter. It's a 1-1 one, one Flying Lifelink. I'm not gonna do anything with it. Um... Rancor. It just goes back to the hand over and over again. Um, I will pass the turn and cry. <laughs> I'm gonna untap at my upkeep here. I will venture into the Undercity. Um, I'm gonna go into Catacombs and make a 4-1 Black Menace Skeleton. So we're gonna visit Gut for a second. Hey Gut, long time no see. Oh, hey there. Um, oily Skeleton. We love to see it. Don't worry, Gut. You're coming out for game two if there is one. Unless I want to play Displaced Dinosaurs, which also might happen. Um, Frost at Bell, and it's reduced by one. How does that affect the X? It still counts. Okay. Reduced by one. Yeah. Um, do I get, like, a free one paid into X, or yeah. no? Yeah. Whatever the X you choose. 
You have to pay one less. Yep, bingo. Okay, sweet. Um, I've had a lot of people aggressively argue that that is not true when playing my Hanada deck. They are and <laughs> Yeah. Like, I literally, like, spoke to judges about it so many times, but I've just had so many experiences of people, like, screaming at me that I'm an idiot, that yeah. it's, like, scarred me about this aspect of magic. Anyways, um, all, all that nonsense aside, I'm going to tap uh, one, two, oh, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, and I'm going to choose to pay eight into X, and I'm going to cast, or wait a second, oh, I should have read this better. Um, I'll first cast Howling Golem. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so I could pay five into the X then with the cost reduction from Goblin Anarchomancer. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on each of X target creatures. I will put a plus one, plus one counter on Thrakus, Howling Golem, Skeleton, Geomats Fanatics, and... Dragon Hatchling. Is that wait, good? Wait, yeah, wait. Did you just hit the uh, skeleton this turn? Yeah. Don't I have the initiative, actually, from Owlbear? I think I forgot to grab my land. Oh, yeah. Hip, yeah. He got it from the the trample. Oh. All right, hold on. You did, you're, no, you're right. So I wouldn't have made this skeleton, which means this doesn't exist, which means hang on. I'm slapping this on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I totally forgot about it in the second part of combat. Well, I guess uh, I will put it on these five things then. So we'll do one on Howling Golem, on Goblin Anarchomancer, Team Mets Fanatics, and Dragon Hatchling, and Thrakus. Also get one more. Hey, Obstinate, how many cards do you have in your hand? <laughs> Sorry, it's just kind of hard to hear. It sounds, I don't know if this is just on my end, but it sounds like you're... Yeah, I think I was just leaning back in my chair. Out. I move forward. Uh, I mean, like, I really want to just swing all out at Obstinate right now, but I'm, like, pretty certain he's got some kind of fog in his hand. Well, you have me dead to your commander. You have that. So, like, you basically... Like, well, what's, what do you have to block with on board? Uh, total toughness is five. But you have trample. And I'm at four yeah, now. I mean, he can't win if his commander isn't out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I would take nine commander as of right now. You've essentially got us both dead on board, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Like, like you're kind of dragging this out and playing with oh. your food here. Yeah, I just just tap and see what happens. I mean, I'm pretty sure that he's got you're trample on the back and, anyway, so. and then I'm going to die. But yeah, I'll just... Yeah, but you still uh, have to bait it out, even if I did have a fog, yeah, don't you? Case. Well... I know, so that's time. that's what I'm considering, because, like... No, I'd say just tap sideways and see what happens, because I'm, I'm super... And Ob doesn't play... I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing... Fox too often. <laughs> everything except for Goblin Anarchomancer up at Obstinate, so... Um, yeah, I've got four lands in my hand. I lost right, the game so... when, when it was revealed that that creature had hexproof, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. That was like that was it for me. <laughs> so coming at you, Chris, is just gonna be a ten three Gamat Fanatics. Yeah. I'll take the ten, go to six now. And oh also on a Now turn, you get the initiative. Yeah. We're all gonna draw a card. Yeah, and then initiative. The um What's it's it? skeleton. Evolving wilds, crack it, go get a mountain pass turn. Untap draw. Uh you lose um you lose one, I gain one. Pay three to activate the Scopa. Pay two, crack the food. You lose three, I gain three. And then swing on the air at you for one. I gain one, you lose one, and I take the L. All right. Yeah. Artifact well, you could have... enchantment removal from my hand. Well, one really fun thing will happen is that I'll get Throne of the Dead three. All right, game two. 